Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make something like this. So this my friends is Twilight and the Raven and it seems like Twilight is giving the Raven that message don't forget to fly but you don't know what magic has been going on before was the raven, is the raven a person in disguise, magicked down to this raven? Or is is this the fairy godmother? We don't know, do we? There are so many different narratives you could give to this piece. Anyway, so I loved the purples and the yellows all sort of working together to make a focal point out of Twilight and the raven. And um, anyway, I want to stop talking now. <laughs> Just stop it, Emma. I'm going to stop talking now. So come with me. Let me show you how it's done. OK, so we start with the Dinkles background. And I've got some 7x7 seven seven multifarious card, needle tip bottles and some Dinkles periwinkle, which I have popped in there and using a fan brush, I'm just going to stroke the colour around the page in lovely broad strokes. Now I've got some Dinkles Pink and again in a needle tip bottle and some white. And we're just going to dry that. Might move it occasionally with a fan brush but we're just going to dry that around the page. Oh, with a Ranger heat tool. Now I'm adding some Dinkles Blue Dragon. And again, some Periwinkle. And this time we're adding some Sea Green. So this is a mop brush size 2. And I'm just moving that colour and drying it at the same time with my mop brush. And look at those stunning effects you get with those dinkles. I'm loving it. Don't forget to dry the back too. Now we're going to do some stamping. So I'm using an acrylic board and this is Twilight, the fairy. And... I've inked her up in Versifying Claire Fantasia. So I'm also going to use from the Crow Set stamp um, a crow and I've inked him up in Versifying Claire Nocturne. Now this is the Tree of Hope stamp and I've inked that up in Versifying Ink Fantasia. So it's not as close to the foreground as the crow and Fantasia uh, and Twilight because of that lovely light pattern of the branches and the colour that we've chosen. Now I must admit I've deliberately not got the Tree of Hope and the Tree of Color Courage because I wanted to just get that feeling of irregularity. So I'm creating a space for Twilight and the Raven to actually meet. Let's have a look. Let's create an audience too. So using the Bird Collection stamp set and Versifying Claire Warm Breeze, I'm just adding some birds to our branches. Trying to get the ones that look to the centre on each side so it becomes obvious who they're looking at and what's the important part of the card. They're there but they're not too obvious. Now using the Forest Creeper stamp that we've inked up in Versifying Claire Ink Warm Breeze, just adding a little bit more of something dangly to break up 
the tree branches and add some depth. So adding some white around our twilight and the crow and just tiny. This is why I have them in the needle tip bottles. You don't have to have that much. Now we're adding some yellow. Now this yellow I have got this Stinkles yellow with metallic bronze mica minerals and I'm just adding tiny little bits to suggest the magic that is in this place, yeah? The magic being the fairy and also nature, because nature is pretty magical. And I'm just going to smudge some of that yellow around to refocus our attention. And look at the way that works with the fan brush. It's just so delicate and it brings the blues Oddly enough, even though we're only working in the centre, the blue on the outside edge starts to come alive again. It's lovely. Dry that off with your heat tool. And add a little bit of magical highlight to twilight with a glittery Posca pen. And this one is yellow. Now let's pop them on some ground. <laughs> so I'm using the Silhouette Grass Stamp, which I have inked up in Versifying Claire Warm Breeze. And even though it's a lovely blue, once you put it on top of another colour, it subtly shifts. Doesn't it? And, and adds as a, I mean, it's a silhouette anyway, but it's just lovely, works so well. It's, it, it's a much softer feeling than the black. Now, I'm over stamping this stamp deliberately to give us a patch of grass with lots of tiny little blades of grass all working together. And if you do a little bit so that it's just behind the crow, uh, the crow and the raven, it gives this feeling of it, of it going off into the distance as well. So with a Posca pen white, we're just filling in the fairy's wings. I'm going to use some aqua green as well. These Posca pens are so versatile, aren't they? I mean, you can use them with water for a watercolour effect or direct from the nib for an acrylic, really solid colour effect. Now, this is a light pink. And although it's tiny dots, the subtle colour is just lovely. And adding some more yellow. And giving all the birds a yellow eye. Now this is the vine branch stamp and I'm inking it up in Versifying Claire Nocturne and just going around the edges to create a frame. For our little scene to unfold within.
So add some accents with your aqua green Posca pen, just a couple of dots here and there. Take a couple of blades up a little bit higher, maybe with a stroke upwards with your Posca pen and break up that colour. Now to me, that just looks like that fairy is whispering some secret, some magical secret. Okay, uh, looking at this vine branch stamp, you can see that I'm using a Posca pen just to colour in the pod-like ends. Um, and this extra detail just adds that lovely depth and lifts the frame. You don't have to colour all of it, just colour inside and it will give you a lovely outline for your colour. Ah, uh, where would I be without my white magic dots? This is a Posca pen white. And we've got some magical orbs there. So we're going to create a vignette now. So using some Elements Ink Midnight Blue, we're just going to build up some colour along the outside of the card. So I'm doing the edges. Some might call this a frame, others might call it a vignette. A vignette tends to be a sort of shadowy frame that gradually goes out to a solid colour. So it brings the focus back into the centre. So I'm using here the Kuritake Clean Colour Real Brush Pens, and this is the dark blue, just to pick up some highlights that perhaps I needed to tighten or sharpen, shall we say, because I'd perhaps coloured it with the uh, Dinkles or Posca. Let's add some text. Righto. So I've inked up the Don't Forget to Fly stamp or Don't Forget. Inversifying Claire ink Fantasia. Now, using my craft mat and the end of an acrylic block and my Micron Pig Pigma pen, I've worked out how wide I want my text to be, lined it up with the craft mat, and now I'm colouring it with a very light touch of Blue Atoll. That's um, Elements Ink Blue Atoll. And I'm just applying some Zig Two Way glue pen to the edges. And I'm going to heat that up until it's tacky with my heat tool. And apply some Wow Fab Foils Purple to the edges. And do the same process again, applying the glue with the pen, heating it up until it's tacky like the back of a postage stamp, and then applying the foil. And just adding that there. So you see, that was the secret. Now these are the sticky pads, foam squares. And I'm just popping four of them on the back of that, taking the adhesive off the back, you know, the little strip, like a sticker, and then the, trying to get it in the right position. Now, for me, this is always challenging. We're going to go a little off center to the left. And there you go, my friends, you have done it. Well done. Well, I wasn't expecting to place a load of hidden birds in the border. But I really like that. I think it's a bit, it feels, it feels secretive. It feels like a magical secretive moment that is being observed, but not intruded upon. I do like that. And this, don't forget to fly, is such a positive, positive, as long as you don't take it literally and try, yeah? It's such a positive thing. Don't forget to try and do your very best. 
and to show people how how much you enjoy something how much you can you can how much you can do how much you can do there we go so don't forget to show people your true potential there we go that's it that's the badger so yes i loved this I loved the secrecy of it. I loved the purples. I loved, look at all those colours that we've used. We've got the aqua green. No, I don't have shares in aqua green, but I should. Aqua green, then we've got these purples, these blues. We've got green, we've got yellow. It's just humming. It's alive with colour. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me. Thank you for coming along and having a go. Now. If you've got any comments that you'd like to make on this craft, please pop them in the post below and I will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. OK, in the meantime, you take care and happy crafting. Bye.